Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are one of my bagel babes. I'm Kelsey from Blondes and Bagels and I like to talk about makeup. So we're just gonna get right into this one today. As you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be talking about the new Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. I have a couple other items from the collection but we're really just gonna be focusing on how you can get this look using the new Naked Cherry collection. So if you wanna see a tutorial on this eyeshadow look or if you just wanna hear about the palette in general, Stay tuned. This is real, 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 real love. All right, guys, we are just going to get right in here. I'm going to be using the new Naked Cherry palette today, as you knew by the title of this video and because of the intro. But I wanted to start off just by giving you a quick rundown of what these shades look like. They are definitely of the cherry nature, although I do think there's like some peachy vibes going on here and then you get into some plums. So maybe not necessarily just the cherry palette, but the plum palette, the peach palette, I don't know. Anyway, the one thing I'm not really a fan of with naked palettes in general, I don't like these bars. Like I don't like having to, I mean, think about this brush. Like if you're gonna use this brush, trying to dig that in all the way down. I don't know, I've just never been a fan of that. I'm not really sure what kind of look I'm gonna do today, but I typically start my shadow looks pretty similarly. I like to make sure to get a nice transition color in there. I'm gonna start with Feels as my transition shade today. Tap off the excess. And I'm just using a MAC, I think this is the 224. Well, this is a little, a little darker than I thought it would be. Okay, well, I don't know about a transition shade. I'm pretty pale though, to be fair. Usually like the lightest to second lightest on the spectrum. So I'm just using windshield wiper motions and buffing into the crease. And then I'm doing my eye makeup first because I'm not really sure fallout wise with this palette what it'll look like. I'd rather not do my foundation and have to clean it all up later. All right, so that's the shade feels in the crease for you right there. What do we think about doing a halo eye? Do we feel like a halo eye is a good decision? Yeah, let's do a halo eye. I'm gonna take this very dirty, disgusting MAC 217 brush. Sorry, I have an itch on my nose. MAC 217 brush. And I think I'm gonna take that into, let's actually start by taking it into Bing, which is this shade right here. It's almost like a raspberry shade. And then we'll deepen that later. Ooh, this one is very pigmented, you guys. I don't know if you can see that. Very pigmented. Tap a little bit of that off. I'm gonna start by taking that on the outer corner of my eye. It's pretty pretty freaking pigmented, which definitely is a good thing, but I would say that a light hand is highly recommended here. Okay, we're gonna do a halo, so I'm gonna take it onto the inner corner as well. And I'm actually gonna bring it into the crease a little bit, because I do like this berry shade. What do I wanna do now? I think I even wanna deepen that a little bit more. I'm gonna take this shade next to it called, can you see that? I'm gonna take this shade next to it called Devilish the same brush. So this is a little bit more like a brownie plum color. And focus that truly just on the outer corner, just to deepen up that end. This is why I did my eye makeup first. Do you guys see all that fallout happening there? Especially right there. Super cute. I'm just like not a fan of having to clean up foundation afterwards, and it's not like I'm using crappy brushes either, or crappy palettes. They just happen to have a lot of fallout. I'm gonna go back in with the 224 and I'm actually gonna take that juicy color next to the feels color that I used before because it seems like it's a little bit lighter. Lots of, oh, did you guys see that? Lots of dust kicking up with that one. Okay. I'm actually just gonna run that over the sides and the top to sort of blend. Give us a nice like smoked out look. Halo eyes always make you kind of look like a crazy serial killer as you're doing your makeup, but it's definitely the looks I get the most compliments on, and they're pretty easy to do. Okay, we're gonna do an all over the lid shade, and we're gonna start by doing Young Love. Young Love, which is this nice sparkly raspberry shade. I think I'm actually gonna take that wet. So I'm gonna use some Fix Plus. Take a little Fix Plus. And just putting that all over the lid. It's looking a little goopy, but I like the shade. Some people with like pinks and purples can end up looking like they have pink eye, but I am blessed not to have this issue. I have pretty green hazel eyes. 
So palettes like this really make my eyes stand out. Ooh, I do like that. Let's wipe off some of this like fallout that's happening just because it's making me look a little crazy. I'd rather not look cray cray. Just using a Clinique take the day off wipe. And then I think to brighten things up, I want to take this color Bang Bang. Is that what it's called? Bang Bang. Yeah. I'm going to put that in the sort of like the inner third of the eye just to waken this look up, keep it nice and bright. Even though I know we're doing halo, it feels like it needs a little lift there. So not quite all the way to the corner because I still want it to feel a little bit halo. I just wasn't loving how dark it was looking. If you guys ever have any like weird texture showing up or anything like that, I recommend just using your finger to sort of blend because the warmth from your finger can sort of help move the shadow in ways that a brush can't. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about that actually. It's looking fun. Okay, and then I don't usually use the brushes that come with palettes, but I am gonna use the little nubbin end of this into that shade Feels that we started with in the crease to take that under the eyes. Just kind of added some depth. And then I have really sensitive, I have really sensitive eyes, so that's probably all I'm gonna do underneath my eyes, because if I put any like liner or anything like that under there, I'm just gonna be wiping it off my face all, all damn day. It's not even worth it. Okay, and then the other item from the collection, I actually got, so I got the eyeshadow palette, and then I did get a lipstick, but I also got an eyeliner, which this shade is called Love Drug. It's almost like a nice maroon color, as you can see there, with like a hint of metallic shimmer to it. I'm just gonna line the top lids. Not impressive, to be honest. I think this eyeliner works well if you're doing a lighter look. Like if you're gonna touch the colors that are more on this end of the palette, I think it works out pretty well, but considering that I went pretty dark, it's not really looking like it's doing anything. So I'm actually going to use a brush, like a little angled brush, and go into this privacy shade, which is this very, can you even see that? Privacy, which is this very dark matte chocolate brown that kind of comes with this palette. And I'm actually just gonna press that over the eyeliner. Do I look insane? Probably. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup real quick. I did not get the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Cheek Palette, just cause like to me it looked like something you could get, I don't know, not only from Urban Decay, but also from other brands. It just didn't look that exciting to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my face. Nothing exciting there. We'll come back to put the lipstick on together and then we'll talk about what I think of this palette. Hi, toot. I said hi. I'm filming. Okay, as you can see, a man has just come home. <laughs> a man is in my house! Okay, anyway, I'm gonna use the shade, what are you, Juicy. I have to say, this is really not my normal type of shade because it is very, as you can see, like, metallic. We're talking like 90s glitter status. I'm not even gonna use a liner. I'm just gonna try it out. Mm, maybe the no liner was a mistake. Well, I don't know that I would wear it not with this look. <laughs> Um, just because it feels like, I don't know, it feels like they pair well together, but as far as it being like my new favorite, you know, everyday shade, I don't know that that's my new, new, <laughs> new fave, you know, new favorite. So yeah, that's the look. Let's chat about how we feel. Okay, so to kind of wrap it up and talk about how I feel about the new Naked Cherry collection by Urban Decay. I only have three items, like I said, so I have the eyeshadow palette, I have the eyeliner, and then I have Juicy, the lipstick shade. Honestly, out of all of this, I really feel like you could pass on the liner and the lipstick. The lipstick is great and all, but it really only goes with this collection, so it's very themed. I don't know that you'd really want to use it outside of this look. The eyeliner, I like it. I think it's good. I've actually been using it for about a week now, but the issue is that, like, it's just a maroon colored liner. I think you could probably find one anywhere, so maybe save your money there. But I do like the palette. I actually think the palette is really different and interesting. I don't know, I I know that there's like the Naked Heat and there's the Tarte, what's it called? I have this, hold on. Yeah, this one, Tartlet Toasted. But I do think they went with the cherry theme and kept everything very cherry colored or plum colored. So let's take a look here. So for example, here is your Naked Cherry palette while here is your Tartlet Toasted. So this definitely is a little bit more of an orange, red, bronzy, warm kind of situation. 
versus this really does hit more of those cherry and plum tones which for me I like that I like that range I have green eyes it goes really well with my complexion and my eye color so I actually do like the Naked Shetty palette sorry we've got noise in the background we've got construction we've got a boy in the house so anyway yeah I I would recommend picking up this palette. I do think that it feels different than anything else I have in my collection, and I think the qualities of the shadows are pretty good. There is a little bit of fallout with the shadows, but honestly, it's not really anything that I can't handle. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that you pick this one up. I think it is worth the Dalla Dalla bills, and believe me, I have plenty of palettes. I'm more than happy to tell you what you could skip. Like, I actually kind of don't really wear this one, so. Anyway, I like it, I think it's good for fall, and yeah, tell me what you think of the Naked Cherry collection in the comments down below, I'm super curious. And also tell me what you thought of their cheek palette, because I obviously didn't pick that up, but you know, if it's good, maybe I will. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, I hope you come back. So hit that subscribe button down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.